a young food forest over here. I planted this out last year. But we had the cow in here for a while and the cow ended up eating most of it down to the ground. Uh, but a few things did survive. Our, all our bananas had survived. These mulberries, the squabiju, the, um, that for salmon right there, the che, um, that fig had all survived. A few of these blueberries, but the cow ate the rest of them down. But, oh well, uh, oh, that uh, pomegranate over there. But what we got here, we got raspberries right here. They're all pretty small right now. Um, blackberries, mulberries. There's some goji berries on the lower side of the mountain. This has got, this is clay on the top we used. We got out of the trench for the climate battery for the greenhouse. But right under there, there's topsoil. It's mostly clay at the top, but there's topsoil right there. Just wanted to build it up as more of a feature and then it was easier than hauling it off. But we got a bunch of varieties of bananas in here, ice cream, Goldfinger, Orinoco, Double Mahoy, Truly Tiny, Grand Nain, Cavendish, um, Vigente Cajul, Patupi, bunch of them. So what we got is a deep section in the middle, kind of makes a little U-shape. Um, had another banana right there. But it, it was, I planted last year, too small. So advice, if you're gonna put bananas in the ground, put them in the ground early in the season. I had planted that in the fall last year um, and it didn't make the freeze. But bananas are quite hardy. Once they're established, once they get a nice root system, these bananas have been in over a year now. They're eight plus feet tall. And I'm hoping next year we're gonna get fruit. We'll see how cold it gets. Hopefully these main stalks kind of survive. I'm sure all the leaves are gonna get frost damage and stuff. Uh, but bananas take like 18 months to fruit. Now the Patupi, the Viente Cajol, the Coco Po is a little bit faster. The, the short cycle bananas. So in a cold climate, that would be more ideal. I do have maybe five of those in the ground. Right here we've got uh, Asian pears. And over here we got blueberries. A couple rows of blueberries. A crab apple on the other side is really small. This is one of the coolest trees, I think, that we got in here, the Guabiju. We got it. Uh, Green Dreams. Uh, planted it last year it was about maybe eight inches tall when I got it grown quite well this year it took 22 degrees last year I believe they can take to around 15 um, hopefully we don't we, we've gotten down to 15 before over here hopefully we won't be getting back down to that but, um, especially as the tree matures it should get more cold hardy Really pretty tree though. I like the little tip growth on there. Then we got Everbearing Mulberry. I have trimmed this four times maybe. Um, they grow super fast. It's supposed to be a dwarf, but I don't see anything dwarf about it. It has probably had, actually I planted it last year. I bet it has had at least 20 feet of growth total. I just keep chopping it down. See, I want to establish it a little bit lower. And then when you when you chop them, I've been propagating, so I'm making more trees. And then it makes it also helps it fruit again. And right here, got a world's best mulberry. I've also propagated from that. Chopped it pretty hard. I, don't, I would say it's a little bit less aggressive growing. They were planted at the same time. They were the same size. They were like six inches tall and I put them in the ground. Um, 
I haven't eaten any fruits on that yet, so I can't attest to the world's best part, but I'm really excited about it. We got, uh, like I said, a couple goji berries, pomegranate, got three varieties of prickly pear on the side. There's some more bananas back there. And there's a bunch of biochar in here and compost. Um, and over here, so you got our big giant greenhouse in the background. Got a couple persimmons right here. A multi graft Asian pear. Um, this is Celeste fig, Violet de Bordeaux fig, and this one, I don't know, it might be even cooler than the Guabiju. This is a Che. It's uh, closely related to a mulberry. It puts out like a, a red fruit that supposedly have uh, humongous yields tree can get pretty big and it's like a seedless fruit this is a female version as long as you don't have a male it will be seedless and a little fruit looks like a red brain kind of and I got some extra topsoil from the hole over there I'm gonna be putting so I'm still planting probably gonna put some more figs I got some more stuff to plant over there maybe plant some stuff in here uh, it's exciting a nice food forest give it a few years I think we'll have some yields here next year hopefully bananas some blueberries definitely some blackberries raspberries and mulberries next year and see how it goes but love it <laughs>